Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time to be in this channel, this is Lina Pinzai. And if you've been a subscriber all along, I feel hugs, I love you. Continue subscribing, continue liking, and continue sharing my content. Okay. And today I'm here with another thing. I've never done this before. I'm here with a story time. It's not a very good story, but just sit down, get your popcorns, come and me one. You know, some guys. <laughs> Some guys instead of popcorns wanna refer to kula mio because we can watch if we do na kidogo shama niza popcorn. So you get your miwa, sit down and listen to the story. So today guys I'm here to tell you about vile how I went to visit a witch doctor, witchcraft, kiri medicine man, I don't know. So guys na jua hamji where I went, you know, you guys want to know. So I'm here to tell you guys when I went, where I went. Did I succeed? You know, so guys, I remember very well. It was a Monday morning, so as my dad at a puja, I can like, hey, you know, there they call me Salama Salama Muka, you know, so in Kapanya Raka, Nikam can come with a continent. I can never, don't worry, it's to cut to end, you know. So maybe we'll be like, Babang, we come in for a jet, of course, at present, I'm a little bay, I took my iso, so on a Kubuka to Kamuka. Eh, nikava nikaoga huyo tukatoka tukaenda bado na kuvoka paka ile njambo tulitumia so tukaanza safari tukapanda gari ya kwanza tukaenda tukaenda mpaka njia fulani hizi tukashuka sasa vile tulishuka hiyo place ni hata nilikuwa sijui like huko place it's very bare like hakuna trees ni just the maram road alafu michanga ilikuwa red you know so i was asking him like hey dad where we going and he was like relax so no kwa na yeye lazima uko safe vitu kama hizo so we went tukaenda tukaenda na miguu sasa hadi place nyingine you guys let me check some little bit of coffee right here hadi kwa hiyo njia sasa vile tulikuwa kwa hiyo njia tukadivert so kudivert tukatembea kidogo tukafika somewhere there was a hut hakukuwa na many other places hakukuwa na many other houses it was only one hut so kufika hapo there was no one so my dad called somebody and he was like where are you and then the person i think aka respond akasema siko but nakuja so tukaka hapo kama kitu kama 30 minutes and then eh kidogo na kidogo this man i remember he was very tall dark you know tall dark alafu ni dark au ni black eyes red you know very big you know so hakuja i was afraid so nikamsalimia and then my dad pia akasalimiana so me at this time sikuwa naelewa like sikuwa najua actually tuko wapi you know so tulikuwa bado tuko nje so i remember kufungua mlango and then tukaingia ndani so kufika kwa hiyo nyumba like kuwa yani ilikuwa it was very strange like the environment you know the as in which was a black black madawa madawa you understand so it was like kuwa huku ni wapi but i decided like uh, ni nyamaze cause you know uweze ongelesha like mzazi like mbona tumekuja huku you know so mimi nikanyamaza unaona so vile nilinyamaza that man hakuna as in hakuongea sijui kama alikuwa they had already communicated or what so there was like silence in that house me the man and my dad so we just silent so vile we were seated right there that man took a black black ni kama scarf you know so that man tied the scarf papa akanifunga scarf so mimi sikuwa najua what was going to happen next so i was there seated but sikuwa najua what next you know so nikatulia after the scarf nikashikwa mkono you know so vile nilishikwa mkono tukatoka nje kwa hii nyumba tukatoka nje kwa hii nyumba but since had nilikuwa blindfolded sikuwa najua where we are going so we went we went so mimi sikuwa najua place tunaenda so nikasikia tu ni kama nimekaa chini kwa kiti you know na pia sikuwa naona haya nikaka hivyo so guys si macho nilikuwa nimefungwa after some time nikafunguliwa macho so kufunguliwa macho nikapata let me drink some coffee so nilikuwa nimefungwa macho kufunguliwa macho nikapata like kuna wanaume like wanaume kama 15 hivi wamenizunguka you guys so vile hao wanaume kama 15 wamenizunguka mimi nikashangaa watu kwa wapi alafu kumbuka pale i was naked like nguo zangu ni kama zilikuwa walikuwa wamezishazitoa tayari nguo zangu i was naked na sasa kuangalia hivi ni kuna wanaume kandro wangu amenizingira hivi kama saa kwa lua sasa mimi nikaogopa na pia babangu my dad was not there at that time so mimi nikaogopa like kwa huku sasa ni wapi like what was going to happen next nikakuwa so worried you 
so after there vile sasa walikuwa au wa, wanaume wenye wako huko kando kando kidogo wakaanza kunisongelea so vile wananisongelea mimi sasa nikaanza kuogopa you know but nikakuwa strong cause ah nikasema kama mbaya mbaya you know so guys vile kidogo na kidogo kuangalia nyuma yangu that is oja kulikuwa ilikuwa ni forest actually so kuangalia nyuma yangu i saw like kama best and kama basi 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 yeah so hapo ndani kulikuwa na vitu red you know red sasa kuangalia hivi it was blood hiyo basin it was full of blood you know alafu sasa hapo kando yake there was some herbs you know herbs this a meat hapo kando yake herbs this a meat and then that man was also there and the other men who had surrounded me so i was like wow what was going to happen right here you know so but nikasema acha tu ikae so this guy this man akanambia so Ah mwanzo wako niongelesha so mimi nilikuwa tu naangalia naona nasema wa ni sawa so hii beshen iko hapa these herbs are here so au akanichukua akachukua mwanzo hizo herbs akatengeneza tengeneza mambo yake akazifanya fanya hivi alafu zikakuwa na kama maji maji ya nini ya green alafu akaingiza pale kwa ile besini so akaniambia like i have to nioge mbele yao you know so mimi as in ah, but sikuwa na otherwise so mimi nikachukua nikaoga kama wao wanaume wamenizingira and then uko kwa forest you know so guys after hapo nikavaa nguo and then we went back to that hut so i went and then i met my father so i asked my father like what was the meaning of that sijini na nini akaniambia you guys but akaniambia it's because i was you know that time i was suffering from this disease in it was this kipafa thing i was suffering from this kipafa thing i don't know yes that one so nilikuwa naanguka like kama sasa hivi niweka and then i anguka then i start like kutwa mafovu and all these things so i was suffering from that disease so nilikuwa nimepelekwa that place because niende as in ndio nilikuwa nimeshazunguka all hospitals kila mahali kwa people wa watu wa kuomba all pastors kila mtu but sikuwa ni aku at sikuwa nimepona so at that time ilikuwa imefika like we, were, we had just gone to try you know so after half of then nikapewa charm you know charm that here is that kairidi so i was given that charm alafu vile nilipoa that charm i went uh, to and nikambiwa so that nikapoa zile la mm, uh, prescriptions yeah prescriptions like uh, sifai kuona sister yangu si mama yangu by that time alikuwa pregnant pregnant so kanaambia si mtoto akizaliwa sifai kumuona so nilikuwa na kichwa you know So guys there is no way I'm telling this story. Sasa nimeambia nilikuwa nimezunguka all hospitals like madawa kila kitu. Sikuwa nime succeed with it. So tumeenda huko kwa hiyo mchawi sijui ni medicine man ndo atusaidie. So kanipea chama kanipea na prescription. Nikasema so every day sikuwa nafaa kuchoa it was just here you know akanipea nyingine nilikuwa na hapa kwa mkono. So I had those two nilikuwa nikavaa nikavaa alafu after some time that thing ikapotea. So the reason why I'm telling this story like me city I'm telling city I'm proud of what happened like me I'm telling this story because that time me as in, as in for now ni can go it given a chance to go back there me me say siezi kubali because nowadays I'm served and I believe in God you know but that time si do but I had to go miss kwa na option after all miss kujua ni ndawa tu you know guys so lakini sahi you guys I'm so much served and I believe in God every time I have a problem I pray and all things in a workout so guys mm, it's just to encourage you that other come on you are sick maybe you just believe in god will be well don't go and don't go and visit those which 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 men which doctors i don't know what those guys don't go because as for me i think me as for me nilipona yes from going to all my witch doctor but as for me na i believe like me god ali ni heal cause i was nilikuwa halimba i was so thin like nilikuwa pale you know guys i was pale na nilikuwa nimekonda every time i sit down na anguka you know and then i just do like this and then mafovu you know so i was like it was yani ilikuwa tu mbaya at this time people wakinyona wako like hey you know ni talama like i've grown and i'm okay my health yani niko sawa so people go na shangaa like wa enyewe god is able but it's gini na mimi but how do you what made me heal you know but kitu ni heal ni vile nilienda kwa huyo mbaba akanipea madawa akaniosha kwa hiyo forest nikiwa naked alafu for now niko um, i'm okay you guys as you can see i'm okay i'm vlogging as you can see i'm okay so guys hmm let's meet bye bye till the next time and if you're in love with my content just subscribe you guys subscribe comment share my videos you know tell your friends to come and watch these videos you know eh kukiapo mpenzi mtazamaji sina na jihada tukutane tena kwenye video yetu nyingine bye bye